This Sunday we're gonna have a baptism after the second service and it's gonna be a fantastic time because anytime we do baptisms, it's the public declaration that you put your faith in Jesus, you're gonna follow him, and so there's nothing more important, nothing more exciting, and nothing that is more meaningful than someone's life being given over to Jesus who changes us and makes us more like him. That's why it's cool. So who should get baptized and who should not get baptized? Anyone that's confessed Jesus should be baptized. Jesus commanded it, the book of Acts teaches it, and the epistles explain it. So all those three factors together are why we do not only baptism but also communion. So that's why. It's an important demonstration and communication to people that you love Jesus, you want to walk with him, and I know that's your desire as a Christian. So where are we going to do it? We're going to do it right behind you, right behind me, right in front of me, right out here in the parking lot uh, on sun this Sunday after second service. Perfect. And um, what scriptures come to mind when you think of uh, baptism and, and why we do it? Well, Paul said to the Romans, he said, the baptism doesn't, uh, doesn't cleanse us from our sin. What it does is demonstrates the old life being put underwater, buried, and then when you come up out of the water, it's a picture, it's a symbol, it's a communication that you're now a new creation in Christ. Paul talked about that in 2 Corinthians. And all the old things have passed away, and behold, he said, behold, all things become new. Fantastic.